want to thank everybody for coming out here. Uh, Vibe is truly honored just that every one of you took out your time out of your day to come here and spend it with us tonight. Um, Vibe is celebrating our one year anniversary. We've been here at the Country Club. We feel truly honored that they accepted us in. It's been nothing but a great experience. We've been having a great time. Um, we truly just love being around good people. And um, three th reasons why we started Vibe is we feel like there's three things that, that can really make a healthy person. It's, it's the physical fitness, the nutrition, and the social activities. I think a lot of people overlook the, sh the social aspect, and it's been such an encouragement to me, to my clients, to people that I'm involved with who are like-minded. We have you know physical goals, nutritional goals, and when you're around people of, of like-mindedness and, they, and they're, they're going after the same goal, it just makes the journey a lot better, a lot easier a lot more enjoyable. So we, we try to do this once a month. Uh, we get together if it is a sip and paint, uh, wine and yoga, usually involves alcohol for some reason, I don't know. Uh, any reason to get together around good people and live life together, uh, we try to do it. Um, so we, we thank you guys for coming out. I, I really am honored. Uh, and I truly want to thank the Trumbull Country Club for taking us in. It, it's been nothing but a blessing. Um, so as far as the, the physical fitness goes, we offer personal training and, and group fitness. Uh, we got all, that all wired down. Um, now we just brought in my man Jason Barnott. He's a licensed nutritionist, registered dietitian. Um, I've known Jason for quite a while. Um, he's actually helped me with my personal nutrition. He's competed in bodybuilding. Uh, he works at two local hospitals in the area. The thing I really like about Jason is... Uh, he can deal with the competitive athlete, uh, the extreme athlete, and then just the average Joe. Um, he, he's he's well-rounded, um, my kind of people. Um, also, uh, I just want to mention Monique, wherever she's at right now. Uh, we just brought Monique on. We also uh, offer um, massage therapy. So she's our second massage therapist down there. So if you have any questions tonight, feel free to ask Monique about that. But uh, I just want to welcome in Jason Barnott. He's going to speak a little bit about nutrition tonight. And again, I thank you guys for coming out. Very nice introduction, Rob. I've known Rob since uh, high school. We've been working together personally at least three or four years now, off and on. You know, me doing the nutrition thing and him doing the, uh, uh, the personal training. So. We're just going to keep it real basic tonight, and if anyone has any questions throughout the whole entire night, just feel free to uh, raise your hand or just blurt out. We're going to keep it real informal here. Plus, uh, as you can see, uh, Nancy and Rob got some prizes for everyone. We're going to do a little drawing later. Organic. Um, what's that? Organic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's organic. I had to prove everything. <laughs> so there's like a, uh, some olive oil up there, some different kind of tea, some uh, different spices. Uh, some sea salt and things like that. Plus also uh, the chef also uh, made the calories, fat, protein for the meal tonight, if anyone's uh, concerned about that. So there was uh, either a chicken meal or, or salmon or a vegan meal. I don't know if any, uh, I don't know if there's any vegetarians out there tonight. But uh, So here's the breakdown. So the salad has 150 calories. If it was just a lettuce, it would probably be like 5 or 10 calories, so that's obviously coming from the dressing. But uh, it's good dressing. It's, it's uh, made out of uh, extra virgin olive oil, which is one of the healthiest, healthiest oils you can consume. Um, it's actually an anti-inflammatory oil. Uh, it's really good to lower blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides. Um, so olive oil, if you're cooking, ought to be like your main cooking oil. Um, you know, you don't want to use too many vegetable oils, canola oil anything like that. That's actually pretty toxic to the body. So just be careful with that. Um, so most of the fat, uh, so there's nine grams of fat, that's coming from the olive oil and uh, some carbs, maybe with uh, vinaigrette maybe. That's on it. Chicken entree actually has 450 calories, but that's pretty average for a high protein dish. 15 grams of fat and uh, 29 carbs, probably with a little breading in there. So Now to the salmon. Who got the salmon? So 420 calories, 15 grams of fat, but that's all healthy fat in, in the salmon, with the chicken too. But uh, the salmon has the omega-3 fats, which uh, help lower blood pressure too, and uh, pretty much help with everything in the body. And uh, 
So, but there's also vegan pro, vegan sources of uh, omega fats like walnuts and uh, flax oil, flax seeds, things like that. So the dessert has 259 calories, but if you eat half of it, cut that in half. <laughs> and uh, 16 grams of fat. Sorry to break it to you guys, but but also the uh, but the dairy made uh, the dairy and the uh, dessert was all made from uh, like uh, cashews, zucchini, and coconut milk. So there's really no dairy in that. And also uh, the sweetness comes from organic honey, organic coconut sugar, and organic pure maple syrup. So there's no kind of um, white sugar or any kind of uh, artificial sweeteners or anything like that in there. So that's the breakdown. But if anyone wants to see it, it'll be up here. So I guess we'll talk a little bit about some of like, the prizes they're giving out. Uh, the one uh, spice is uh, turmeric. Has anyone ever heard of that? before there's a uh, yellow spice and people have used it well it's been around for thousands and thousands of years but it's pretty much good for everything from like anti-inflammatory it actually helps lower cholesterol levels um, helps prevent cancer so there's actually a ton of studies done on it um, there's actually been 6,000 peer-reviewed and published studies on it uh, which is pretty impressive and it actually found over uh, 600 potential uh, applications to it um, so Turmeric actually has a lot of uh, a ton of benefits, everything from lowering your blood sugar level to helping your mood to eyesight to um, anti-aging to uh, anti-cancer, like I said. So, but it's a uh, you can throw it in your foods, throw it in smoothies. Um, you know, you want to start small with it, maybe like a teaspoon or a half teaspoon to start because it's pretty strong and pretty pungent. So, um, might take a little while to get used to. Uh, also, they got. Um, some honey crystals and some different kind of natural sweeteners, that's good. And also, uh, I brought some samples of some uh, stevia and some other natural uh, sweeteners here, so you guys can grab some uh, on the way out if you want them. You just go up and grab them. So we talked about the benefits of the olive oil. Now the sea salt, they have a couple of different kinds of sea salt. Um, unfortunately, like the, the salt that you see on the table is your table salt. It's uh, completely white. Um, does anyone know why it's white? They actually bleach it with chlorine. Oh, nice. um, unfortunately, <laughs> sorry, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But I didn't do it. So, so when they do that, they, they heat it and they treat it with a bunch of chemicals, chlorine, bleach, and they actually throw some um, aluminum in there and also uh, ferrous cyanide, which is like an iron to help keep it stabilized. And there's actually only two minerals in the white salt. There's sodium and chloride. But where if you get like a good salt, like a like a pink sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, there's over 84 minerals in there. So that means like people with high blood pressure that they say like you can't use salt, you can actually use a little bit of the of the pink salt. It actually helps lower your blood pressure a little bit. So so salt's actually pretty important. There's actually a lot of people are salt uh, deficient. So salt's actually supposed to have some color, either gray or brown or pink. Salt's actually not supposed to be like bright white in color. So that's the reason why. And also uh, some coconut oil is there. Isn't it? Has anyone ever tried any coconut oil? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are uh, a lot of people are scared of the uh, of the coconut oil because it's uh, looks like lard. You know, they don't know how to use it, and uh, a lot of doctors will even say like, um, you know, raise your cholesterol. But actually, coconut oil actually lowers your cholesterol actually stimulates your thyroid gland, which helps uh, speed up your metabolism. So it's actually really good for weight loss. So you can replace it, you can replace it anything where you'd use butter or any, anything like that. You could cook your eggs with it, you could cook any kind of vegetables in it, you could bake with it. So it's pretty versatile. Um, a lot of people actually put it in their coffee too. Everyone heard of probably the bullet coffee with the uh, grass-fed butter and the, um, and the coconut oil. But yeah, co coconut oil is a different kind of oil. It's an MCT oil, whereas like an olive oil or any other kind of fat, your liver has to digest it. Your co coconut oil, your liver doesn't digest it. It goes straight uh, through your liver and straight for energy production. So it's actually good for pre-workout too. Um, well, anything I miss up there? And there's also some uh, agave nectar. Has anyone ever tried any of the natural sweeteners?
Yeah, because at the, at the hospital I work at in Elwood State, we don't use any kind of uh, artificial sweeteners there. All we have is stevia, three different kinds, and we also have a couple other different varieties, sugar in the raw, stevia in the raw. We don't use any kind of equal Splenda, sweet and low. We don't use any of that. We have it in case, of, in case a patient wants it, but we always get the stevia first. Um, there's a lot of side effects go on with the artificial sweeteners, um, especially like the aspartame. It's been linked to um, weight gain, type 2 diabetes. It actually makes you crave more sweets. So, um, you know, like the more artificial sweeteners that you take in, you're actually going to crave more sweets and actually consume more calories um, after. But uh, <clears throat> a couple stats on aspartame if anyone's interested. So here, here are some of the side effects of aspartame and some of the artificial sweeteners. Migraines, headaches, depression, um, blurred vision, fibromyalgia, uh, kind of numbness in the hands and feet. So if anyone's kind of experienced some symptoms, you know, they could be coming from, um, you know, diet pops or any kind of artificial sweetener. So try to choose any kind of natural sweetener, whether it be honey, um, specifically any kind of organic honey raw honey, or kind of agave nectar like we have up here with a coconut sugar is another good one. Um, so, yeah, try to stay away from the artificial sweeteners if you can. Those, like I said, they, they've done studies that, that have people that, that drank regular pop and diet pop. Um, people lost more weight off the regular pop than the diet pop because, uh, you know, it actually slows down your metabolism and it causes uh, all kind of crazy things in the body. So, I'm not saying that... Um, Regular pops of diet food because it's not no pop, no pop the better. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions yet? No. I'm gonna start picking on people. If, if no one. Greg, you're first. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Are we supposed to come with a question? All right. Well. Um, I mean, if, any has, if anyone has any questions throughout the night, feel free to... What are some of the best foods to raise your metabolism? Green... <laughs> <laughs> good job, Greg. That's a good question. I mean, yeah, I'll answer that. <laughs> green tea. Like, if you could get any kind of organic green tea, that raises your thermogenic rate, actually lowers, lowers cholesterol, too. Um, so that actually increases metabolism. Uh, coconut oil. But you have to make sure the coconut oil is organic and raw. You can find it like that. Apple cider vinegar, as weird as it sounds, organic raw apple cider vinegar actually, um, you know, speeds up the metabolism, lowers blood sugar, and um, actually does a, a lot of things in the body. Vitamin D, you got to be, uh, vitamin D uh, supplementation actually helps out with uh, weight too and metabolism. I cover it all. So, like I said, if anyone has any questions throughout the night, feel free to come over. Ask me, but um, I'll be working with Rob. I'll be seeing uh, clients who ever wants to come in. It's all right. Get like an hour consult. Um, you get like an individualized kind of meal plan. Um, you get other sample diets. Um, so whoever wants to come in, you know, schedule an appointment. Sound good? Thank you, bud. One more thing for you. Um, so actually, uh, Nancy back there, I now back there. Uh, had a great idea. I've been working with Nancy for a long time, and she's come up with an idea to offer a 12-week transformation uh, where we would receive nominations from people uh, who were interested in saying, I'd like to give this to my friend, or I'd like to offer this to a loved one, or whatever. And what that actually is, is uh, this person is going to receive three, uh, three personal training sessions a week. They're going to have complete access to vibe for a total of 12 weeks. And after reading through all the nominations, Kylie back there has been selected. So congratulations to you. So Brian, uh, we're excited to be working with you. You got all kind of fun things planned for you and you're gonna have a great time. So that being said, uh, we have some prizes that uh, as we begin to eat and, and food gets served, we'll start announcing some prizes. Uh, I think we have some hidden numbers yeah. under, underneath, underneath something on the table. You have a number I'll be calling out, and uh, we'll be handing out these prizes to you throughout dinner. So thanks again, guys. Enjoy dinner. Thank you for coming out. We got music after dinner outside in the lobby, so enjoy yourself. Thanks again. <laughs>